So I'm going to get some of the, uh, the medium, a little bit of ultramarine, a little bit of burnt sienna. All right, I'm just going to keep sketching in my lines here using the medium to help the paint flow quicker. At the same time, working in the darks. I really want to emphasize light and dark. I'm focusing on where I see these dark shadows, really getting those in. At the same time, I'll come back with the, br the brights and get the bright thin. I just want to keep sketching it in. Just want to, I'm going to be somewhat loose with this one, but just. Catching in each boat. This was in uh, Tillman Island. I took this photograph. I see shadows from the poles on the boat, so I want to get those in. Everywhere you see a shadow, I want to get those in. The so one side of these boats has a deep shadow with reflected light. I can go right over top the windows because they're dark. I really just focus only on the darks that I see. Lots of dark shadows. I'm going to get those in. Dark and light. Keep my shadows cool colors, more in the blue, purple. And then once I go back to the lights, I'm going to be more of yellow, reds, oranges. But I kind of just keep my focus on that, remember that. I've got some, uh, the pier has a couple of poles. I will go ahead and get those in now also. Still using. Same idea with the lights and darks. Parts of these poles are shadowed by the boat. So I can see here, right about here, it starts dark. I'll bring that down. This one starts right about here, straight down. A little bit of shadowing here. When I was painting this last year, I don't remember how many hours I had into it, but things kept changing, which you expect. And then I realized how, how much the tide was actually changing. And the boats, I believe they, they started off much lower. I think the tops of the boats came to about here on the pole. By the time I finished, they were up here. There was a big difference. I didn't 
not only was I dealing with the uh, the sunlight going down, but the tide was moving the boat. Now back inside, back in here, it's it's real dark. I'm just gonna same thing, just light and thick back in here around the dock. Shadows from the boat on the water. We get that in dark. And there's also reflections that are going to come out. So I have some of that. I don't want to get too dark with those just yet. And these poles here also have a reflection that comes down. One here. They're going to come down like that. Just keep you a little more burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. Keep painting into these darker shadow areas. Just looking at the photograph, everything I see in the photograph is dark. That's where I'm painting. Don't worry about some of the reflections from the boat a little bit later. You kind of see they come, it's a mirror image. Yeah, some of this line here. I'll come over to the back side of this pole here. Come over this side here again. I want to get dark in the back side here, back behind the boat, between the two boats. And I've got another pole here, it's lighter on top, but then it goes in the shadow. Come straight down, and down in here, it's really dark. The shadow right in the middle, it's cast probably from the cabin. So I'll put that in there and come down here and get the rest of the pole in. And this boat disappears behind that pole there. I've got another pole here. I'll go ahead and come straight down with that one. Comes right about there. This one doesn't have, doesn't look like it has much shadow, maybe a little bit up here. I think the front of this boat here is catching a little bit of shadow right there. Just going in, seeing all the darks that are back in the deep shadows here. Look at the shadows. And I see more reflections from this hole here. It's going to drag that straight down. I 
thing with this pole here. That down. Uh, to help pop out some of the boats. So probably what I'd like to do is once I get my darks in, now I'm going to look for the brightest spots on the photograph. And right now I see where the sunlight's hitting on the boat here, this section here, and the tops. So I'm done sketching out with that brush. Titanium white. And play around with some colors. A little bit of the burnt sienna, a little bit of the yellow. Keep it strong, and then I'll just pull some over to the white. The white. See how this looks. Uh, again, I want to lay this one a little bit heavier. So the first part I see the main boat here. This section here is what I see as being very bright. So I'm just going to lay it on heavy. Back, scoop up some heavy paint. I'm going to follow those lines. A little bit come down here also. But I'm using the wet on wet so that some of this will mix as I go, blend it as I go. And I'll just I'll move right up to some of the other bright spots. Okay. Now right on this this window here. Come right down the line there. Fill that in. And start working my way right around this window. And this is where I'm using, it's yellow, but when it's all finished, it'll appear white, but we want to keep it warm since this, this is all in this side, sunlight. round off these windows a little bit. I come, okay, the next bright spot I see is this little section here. There, and a little bit back here. So right across the canopy. Find where my brights are, paint right into it. And thicker, heavier paint. I'm going to work back into some of these uh, dark areas. I'm going to keep the same colors I've got. Now, if I add a little bit of the blue to it, just to cool it off a little. And I don't want to put a lot of paint on because I'm working in the shadows. Whenever I'm in the shadows, I want to keep my paint thinner. But if I start right over here, I've got a little bit there. I'm just going to paint right into it a little bit. I don't want too much paint coming off, but I want to blend a little bit as I go.
And I keep wiping my brush off to get, as, I, as I'm blending as I go, I'm picking up a lot of the dark. I want to make sure I get some of that dark paint off before I come back over here and mix my blue again. I've got right under here a little bit shadow. I've got a window on this side, so I'm just going to outline where that window is. And just come through here. So it doesn't have to be a perfect solid. Too many reflections that are coming up into the side of the boat. So I like to leave a little bit rougher brush strokes. And again, work my way right over to this side. This has the uh, little rail that comes. Line comes back like that. Pick up a little more blue for this, this blue mixture. Come right back up into my shadows again and start softly blending as I go, keeping my brush strokes somewhat loose. And it gets, I can see it gets much darker as it gets back along the edge here. So I'm gonna be careful not to go too far back. I really wanna give that, if I keep this dark, it gives it more of an impression of going deep behind the boat. Come down here with the same mixture I had here. A little heavier with the uh, ultramarine. See, maybe get the burnt sienna also, and then get some a little bit of yellow. So I have some green, some that's a little bit darker. I can pick up a little bit of the violet. What I'm trying to do here. I'll have some really, really dark, and then I'll gradually get to add more and more yellow for some of the light areas. So a little burnt umber, a little of the violet over here. A little ultramarine, a little bit of sienna. So this is my really dark. So I'll get my darks in first. I'll slowly add in some of the, the brighter greens. I don't want to get too bright yet. I'll work up to it. But I don't want to get too detailed back here either. This is just background. Maybe get a little brighter and bring it some trees through there. Really darks, I was using a mixture of violet, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and ultramarine blue. And then just varying back and forth to kind of change up colors a little bit. And if you add a little bit of white, you'll color, you'll cool it off a little bit. Um, and then once I was getting into some of the greens, just adding more yellow to this, the exact same mixture. 
maybe a little less on the violet and the uh, burnt umber, but the yellow with ultramarine is mostly what I was going for, some of the brighter greens, which they're really not that bright, um, but it's just a little bit of contrast to kind of show that there are trees. Use a little smaller brush. What I'm gonna do is mix up a brighter green. Just bring a little bit more yellow down here. And what I'm seeing in my photo, there's grass that runs along here. So that's all I wanna do is just sort of show some of that running behind the boats. Now, just pulling down the exact same mixture I've been using, a little bit of the yellow, the white. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow ochre into it. So these poles, they've got some different colors, but they're mostly sort of greenish brown, some light green, some yellow ochres. So I'm just kind of pulling a lot of these colors. I want it to be different enough from the background greens and the boat but not also not so much that they jump out from everything else. So it's, it's almost a pale green, but using the yellow ochre. Now, if I say I start with maybe this one in the back here where I don't see the whole thing, uh, it's probably a little brighter. But I'm going to lay it on sort of thin because I want to blend as I go again. Again, come back up, pick up sort of that yellow ochre, light green. Come over to these poles here. Again, same thing. I've already got sort of some of my shadow painted in, so I'm going to paint into just the bright side. They're going to wipe my brush off. Now, the same mixture I had, I'm going to bring some white into it just to get a little bit popping out on these poles, especially the tops. The tops have some sort of little covering on it. So I'm just going to suggest that a little bit, come across where light's catching it. Same with this one, just to indicate a little bit of a top. And it's sort of this same yellow white mixture. I even want to hit just a little bit along the edge here. Again, just indicate that brighter sunlight. Let's do that only in the light area. So this is sort of the yellow, white, very pale, warm color. Now I'll move down into the water. And the water that I see in the photo is very dark. So again, I'll just pick up my bigger brush. I'm gonna paint darks first and then the lights. Now these darks I, are probably similar because it's gonna be picking up reflections from the trees. So it's gonna be similar dark greens, blues from the sky. So what I'm gonna do is you can here with my greens. So I'm just gonna darken some of these up. Ultramarine, burnt umber. I got some more medium to help it flow quicker. And I just like to keep very uh, horizontal lines. I 
And I want it to be more on the green to blue side than brown. But as you come up in here, it gets very, very dark. John, is the um, a little bit of sky in there on the right side of your photograph? Yeah, there's going to be some blue down in here as part of the sky. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm just looking at the different colors that I see. And right now, a lot of what I see, the darks are the darks that are reflected from the trees up here. So they're going to be slightly more green. But we're going to be adding so many colors in here. Just looking for some of the darks first. Now, if I move on to some of the boat colors, the shadowed boat colors are going to be sort of that blue color. Get some of the blue back up in here. So it's still grayed out blue. And then I'll be painting into some of my darks already, and then I'll just I see like this shadow here is reflected down here. So I'm just going to paint that in. This whole side of the boat from this line, it's going to come right about along there. Going to be this bluish gray color, which again is just a mixture of the colors I just keep grabbing all together. It doesn't have to be solid, you really don't want it one solid color. You keep it picking up maybe a little more yellow, a little more white. Going back and forth, that's how you kind of get, that's how you get your movement in the water. And another thing you want to do as you're doing your horizontal lines, don't do them all exactly the same size and you end up creating a pattern. So sometimes you may have to step back, look at it, make sure you're not creating a pattern. Then it just starts to look like a bunch of dashes. Now I'm going to start looking at some of the brighter parts of the boat. I'm going to wipe my brush off a little bit. And again, we're back to sort of that yellow, white and yellow, without getting too yellow. But it's not going to be as powerful. You want to be careful not to compete with this being the brightest part of your painting. So I'm going to allow it to gray out with some of the, the blue I've already got on here but I just want it to be brighter than the shadowing area. So again, horizontal lines. Maybe sometimes a little bit yellower, slight, sometimes a little bit whiter, bluer. It's just, I'm just going in and scooping up a little bit of paint. But the key is to make sure I don't actually get as bright as the boat. Wipe my brush off. I'm going to hit some of the blue skies that I see. I see a little bit in here. So just a little bit more blue up here mixed with a little bit of the white. A little bit of medium with it. And again, same thing, just 
working my brush strokes back and forth, trying not to create any sort of pattern. And you can always play with picking up blues and purples, hit those a couple spots just to cool off some areas of the water. And again, just being careful not to create a pattern with your brush strokes. The color I used for the poles, that yellow green with a little bit of the uh, yellow ochre. And then right where I see them start, I can see a little bit that it starts to get some reflected 